in this video we will discuss about uh, ACE2 protein in the previous video we have discussed about uh, SARS-CoV-2 spike protein and, and we have used the same strategy or uh, not we the paper that I am referring has used the same strategy uh, to find out the glycosylation information about ACE2 protein that is uh, initially uh, for glycomics uh, analysis what they have done is they have treated uh, the ACE2 protein uh, with the help of PNGSF and then per uh, per methylated it uh, so that uh, its uh, efficiency uh, for to its efficiency to get easily detected by mass spectrometry will be increased and for proteomics uh, analysis or glycoproteomics analysis what they have done is they have treat, treated this uh, or uh, not treated they have uh, they have uh, make the peptide with the help of different kind of uh, proteases so that uh, the detailed information about occupancy and micro heterogeneity of uh, specific and uh, specific glycan sites not just the n-glycan but the o-glycan sites can also be uh, find out with uh, with correct efficiencies or with uh, good biological uh, replicate replicancy or with good uh, or you can say with good biological replicates because uh, if we use only one proteases then there might be a possibility that glycan is present on a site that is not been cleaved off by that protease and uh, that is not and finally it is not been detected with uh, great efficiency in the mass spectrometry and that might affect our result during quantification so this is uh, some of the overview some overview how the analysis are being carried out now let us understand some of the results that are being published in that paper the reference of that paper for detailed analysis can be found in the description so in is 2 protein and one more thing that we, we need to uh, recall that how they have cleaved off is 2 protein from the cell membrane with the help of specific protease uh, something called Adam you can find it either in the reference paper or in one of our previous video I have uh, provided information about that how they have cleaved off ACE2 from the uh, cell membrane so let's now go through the results what they have found out so what they have found out that uh, majority of the uh, glycans oh, I have uh, forgot to mention and majority of the N glycans are complex and they are not uh, uh, too high highly mono structure as highly mono structure are not uh, usually found in a healthy uh, human cells and so it is a mixture of limited mono structure and hybrid glycans uh, in SARS-CoV-2 uh, spike protein we have uh, the paper has find out some of the sulfated end linked glycan however in ACE2 they have not find out any sulfated end linked uh, glycan and occupancy of all the six glycan the ACE2 protein the part of ACE2 proteins that they have analyzed has only six end uh, glycan sites so occupancy of all of them is greater than 75% and during uh, quantification with the help of quantification they have find out that most uh, these these sites are uh, mainly dominated by the complex n glycan and for uh, o glycan analysis they have find out that serine at 155 position this counting for those who have who don't have much idea about uh, this sequence of amino acid this counting usually starts from n terminal sites and end at c terminal sites of the uh, protein this serine 155 and uh, serine and th threonine residues that are close to C terminus are uh, found to be more are found to be the site for O glycosylation 
and and they have uh, they have checked their result uh, with the help of uh, another independent study that has been carried out at Oxford and they have uh, found that most of their results are uh, in align uh, with the uh, study that has been conducted at other in, uh, other place uh, for example at Oxford and one more thing that they have find out from the clinic uh, from the study of 10,000 human population that and uh, the n glycan site at 546 are uh, not present in three humans out of 10,000 human population that uh, the study is being done so what they have uh, think that this could be because of naturally occurring variation and this is some of the uh, graphs uh, so that it will be easier for understand it will be easier for to understand the results this graph is similar to that we have seen uh, in seen for sars cov 2 spike protein so in this first graph uh, we can see the uh, compositions of the glycan that are present in as2 six sides majority of them are complex some of them are after that uh, some of them are Hymeno structure and then uh, rest of them are hybrid and these are the uh, mainly dominated terminal sites most abundant terminal sites of the glycan uh, in bisected glycans most abundant terminal sites are uh, galactose whereas in case of biantenary and fucosylated glycan most abundant uh, terminal sites is glycnec and in case of triantenary tetraantenary uh, it is again uh, galactose and in case of silic acid uh, in case of silated uh, glycan as the name suggests its terminal sites is silic acid and some of the leg die neck glycan that is a mixture it is a multi uh, terminal mixture uh, such as it also has silated glycan fucosylated glycans and other uh, glycans that have other terminal end are around uh, 18 percent approximately from the graph it is called leg die neck and uh, since the number of N glycan sites are less in case of H2, they have uh, provided information about all six N glycan sites in their main paper. So, uh, this is uh, the spectral count versus composition analysis for, and, uh, for the two sites. First is N glycans, N glycan site at 53, N glycan site at 90, and the glycan abundance we can see is more uh, for like composition of the for like the glycans that have compositions is in blue color we can see that and this uh, and this is not the IOPAC name of the glycan used this is the uh, SGF form of the glycan used that is uh, commonly popular within the glycobiologist so we can see that in N53 it is uh, uh, its uh, abundance or we can say its occupancy or oh, occupancy is the right word its occupancy is uh, clearly uh, looks like uh, more than 50 percent and in the paper they have uh, said that mo most of the uh, occupancy is greater than 75 the occupancy of all the glycan site is greater than 75 percent so if we uh, carefully analyze it it might be it should be greater than 75 percent and for this glycan also we can see that though uh, this type of glycans are low however the overall occupancy it uh, is more than uh, 75 percent 
uh, this kind of how are the heterogeneity we can say the heterogeneity in uh, this uh, at 90 is slightly lower than compared to uh, heterogeneity at uh, 53 oh no sorry uh, what i have presented is what i have said is completely opposite heterogeneity as the number of n-glycan sites are more so heterogeneity is more in uh, 90 uh, n site at 90 however it is less at n site at 53 however the abundance of the different glycans is low in uh, n terminal site as 90 however it is high or usually is almost uniform in n glycan site at 53 and these are the other two other four uh, glycan sites and we can see that in case of glycan site at 1 0, 3 micro heterogeneity is uh, seems to be maximum out of all of the six however the only few are more abundance in uh, at uh, 103 site however in case of n uh, n glycan site at 332 we can see that heterogeneity is slightly lower however the spare However, the abundance uh, seems to be dominated by these three uh, glycans. In case of uh, this N glycan site at 432, it seems to be similar uh, to the glycan site at uh, 90 or at 53, not 90. It seems to be similar to the glycan site at 53 and 32. And this N56 uh, seems to be uh, it is it's it is the mixture of uh, it seems to be the mixture of glycan side at 53 and glycan side at 90 and and all this uh, we can see that this blue color is represented by the complex glycans so all the six glycans are uh, dominated by the complex glycan in case of uh, in terms of abundance so that's all for this video thank you for your time